Good evening. My name is Chris Harris. I'm a public relations specialist, more often referred to as a Los Angeles publicist. In my long and engaging career, I have represented actors, directors, producers, writers, films, and religious leaders, as well as sports figures, products, and services. There is very few over that period of time that I haven't represented. I also represented documentary films. One such film, a documentary, was that based on the Zodiac Killer. I went to the Bay Area in 1970 at the request of a film company to gather data, during which time I was only supposed to interview people who were involved, people who had survived, family members of those victims, but I wasn't to really get engaged. Well, I did. There's a new theory on who the Zodiac is. At the time, LA publicist Chris Harris was making a documentary about the Zodiac and he went to Napa. He was sitting in a diner not far from another customer. Then he turned around and he said, do you have any idea what it's like to know you have to kill? Well, I didn't say a word. I sat there in terror. New at six, a Southern California publicist was in the Bay Area today claiming he once met the infamous Zodiac killer and knows his identity. Del Zodiaco, así se hacía llamar él. El publicista del sur de California, Chris Harris, presentó un libro con la cara de un hombre llamado Van Best, y ahora muerto, y quien el autor cree es el asesino del Zodiaco y su padre biológico. I think he has the proof. This is the man. It's the same person I saw in that diner. While I was not to get involved in the detail of the Zodiac killings, as I said, I did. I did because I discovered the police and the sheriff in Napa County had not conducted a thorough investigation. There were a lot of loose ends. One in particular was Darlene Farron. She was a victim of the Zodiac. And the police had never really interviewed her mother. I did. I asked her mother a lot of questions. And at the very end of my interview with her mother, she said, the night my daughter was murdered, she left the house and said, Mom, you might read about me in the papers tomorrow. Another look at the theory that the killer was a man named Earl Van Bass Jr. The Zodiac terrorized Northern California in the late 60s and early 70s, taking credit for the deaths of four men and three women. His identity has never been proven. Last year, a man wrote a book claiming that his biological father was, in fact, the Zodiac killer. Today, publicist Chris Harris came to the city to say that he not only supports that theory, he believes he met the killer in 1971 in a Napa diner. Harris had been involved with the case and says the man recognized him. When he left, he turned around and he said, do you have any idea what it's like to wake up and know you have to kill? I became a statue. I, I was totally immobile. I couldn't talk. I just stared at this man. When Robert Graysmith wrote the book Zodiac, he mentioned in the book that the police thought I was a Zodiac because I was asking so many questions. I was asking those questions because I determined a, his profile. That by giving him news coverage and continuing news coverage, you were feeding into what he was doing. Chris Harris claims he met the Zodiac in a Napa coffee shop in March of 1970. That's while the search was still active for the man who claimed to have murdered 37. Harris now wants police to reopen their investigation because of a book cover photograph. That man, Earl Van Best Jr., had an arrest record in San Francisco. And according to Harris, fingerprints taken at the time are a match for prints lifted from the scene of one of the Zodiac murders. I'm Mark Richards, KGO 810. I have never revealed the details that I gathered during that period of time regarding the Zodiac, I lost interest. Basically, uh, 1971 was the end of my interest. But for the first time, I'm revealing that information for my lecture agent, Global Top Speakers, Five Stern Redner of Germany.